Wake up, man, wake up. Oh. Wake up, man. Dude, I got some energy coursing through me today. Why? I got some energy coursing through me today here on The Breakfast Lifestyle because, baby, we're having candy for breakfast. Oh, uh, yeah, I've, we are. I've been waiting for that all my life. You know, it, as a kid, I couldn't do it, but now we can. Now we can because we're adults and we do what we want to. Yes, indeed. It's the heel, Will Mahoney, here with Brandon from the Snack Society, here today on The Breakfast Lifestyle because guess what? What? Pop-Tarts got us candy for breakfast because they've teamed up with Jolly Ranchers and put candy in the Pop-Tarts. Are these things going to stick in our teeth? I have no idea, but we got cherry and we got green apple and apparently there's also a watermelon flavor but i could not find them at the store these were two bucks a box they're candy pop tarts man candy for breakfast can't beat that i mean this is the kind of stuff that children's dreams are made of and i tell you we're some big old kids that have grown up to be adults and we're going to check them out here this morning energy man it's going to be coursing through our veins stay tuned we'll be right back all right, here we are, fresh out of the toaster, and we got some popping colors going on up in here, man. That's right. That cherry is as red as can be, and that apple is as green as can be. I tell you, and let's give it in. That smells like that smells like candy. Yeah, it smells straight up like somebody melted some Jolly Ranchers up inside of some Pop Tarts. So much so that I would say it's overwhelming the pastry scent. Certainly, it is like heavy on that. I mean. Mm -hmm. Tons on that red there going. Same on the green side, the sour apple. I mean, these are these are nuts looking. I guess now what we'll do, we're gonna try them both ways because sometimes you want to just have your pop tart cold. So we got some toasted, and we got the other half of the packages right here so we can try them cold too. Sure. So we're gonna try them both ways. Which way? Toasted first. Might as well so they stay hot. That classic version. Take your picks. Or are we going cherry? Or are we going green apple? Let's first? go cherry first. Go ahead and grab All your right, half. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh. Super red up in there. Even redder than the frosting. There you go. Red, red, red. Let's see. Ooh, how that tastes. Alrighty. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. It's. Oh my god. That is so sweet. It's almost sticking in my teeth like a Jolly Ranch. Uh huh. Right? I mean, oh my, it is sickeningly sweet. Mm. Oh my god, the cherry is straight up, it tastes like cherry. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's like some straight up like cherry scissorp. Yeah. Or something like that. Uh -huh. mm. Like medicine almost. Mm -hmm. Oh mm. my god. It's um, I'll say it's not nasty, mm -hmm. but it's straight, I mean it tastes like what it should, it tastes how it should. If you're going to make a Jolly Rancher Pop Tart, yeah. this is what I would expect. Um, Wow, I gotta try the, the sour apple first, but it is as cherry as cherry can be. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, well, probably what we should do keep our flavor consistent. All right. Let's do the cold version of the cherry real quick, too, for the overall experience. All right, you're driving this bus. There you go. Mm. Good enough. Grab a chunk of that one. Let's see. Mmm. Mm. The cherry is even more prevalent mm -hmm. once you take the heat out of it. The toasting mm -hmm. definitely mutes its own and kicks up the pastry flavor. It's even sweeter, mm -hmm. um, even more medicine-y tasting. So actually, mm -hmm. I like the fact that that got cooked out a little bit in the heating process. Yeah, no, definitely my recommendation is I like it better toasted because at least then you get some of the pastry flavor. Otherwise, it is so heavy on the candy. And I mean, candy for breakfast, um, it's pretty solid, but I can't have imagine having like they won, and that's it. It's just like wincingly sweet. We thought they were going somewhere when they had the soda for breakfast in the Pop Tarts. Now uh -huh. they have candy for breakfast, too. Yeah. Come on, Pop Tarts. Let's oh. get a grip. Overall, I would have, well, if let's have the other one first, then we'll do the ratings overall on it. Right. Time for some apple, green apple action happening. That is straight up like, looks like lime. Oh. Oh my God, it smells sweet. That's almost an unappetizing color green mm -hmm. in there. It's, it's so lime. Yeah. Um, the camera's that, that tastes like, oh my god, that is apple. Mm -hmm. That is apple when it hits the back of your tongue. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't hit you as quick as the cherry does. But when it does, it's like, oh my god, that's apple. It's not quite as sticky either. It's a little mm -hmm. more liquefied, I'd say. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely apple though. Mm -hmm. And it definitely tastes like an apple Jolly Rancher. It's, I'm, I'm impressed with how good they nailed the flavor on these. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. 
I'm guessing they just took whatever a Jolly Rancher is made of before it hardens and mixed, uh -huh. mixed it with some sort of emulsifier to sort of give it that jelly-like thing that goes on inside a Pop-Tart. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I like this one. It's definitely more natural tasting, not mm -hmm. quite as crazy. Yeah. But it's, you know, either way, they're both candy. Yeah, they're both sweet. Of the two, this is the less sweet. Let's get the cold version here. See if it lives up like the other one did. With a, if the pastry action is as prevalent when it's not warmed up. Yeah, you take that toaster oven action out of it, and it's like the candy is just ramped up even mm. higher. <laughs> Eating those teeth there? <laughs> it's like they hit me up in the nose. Like, yeah. Like in the sinuses or something. Mm. Weird. That is a strange deal. That is a strange deal. Um, I like them both. Uh huh. For different ways, different reasons. Um, I think candy-wise, the cherry is definitely way more candy flavor. Mm -hmm. The apple's more mellow. And I think just depending on your mood, you can like either one, and I could like either one too. Um, I'm gonna go, as a gimmick, it's a pretty damn solid gimmick. Yeah. It's just a lot going on. But overall, I'm gonna give it high marks for pulling off what it's supposed to be. Three quarters on both of them. Wow. I gotta go hardcore on because they're, they're supposed to be Jolly Rancher Pop-Tarts, and this is exactly what a Jolly Rancher Pop-Tart should be. It's just not necessarily something you're gonna want all the time, but it lives up to the billing. Now, is that the toasted version? Either way. And you have now, either, way either way, across the board. The yeah. big, I, I would say, I like it better toasted either one of them. Mm -hmm. That helps a ton getting some of the pastry flavor involved. Now. In terms of would I eat these again? Sure, definitely toasted. Yeah. The cherry I would eat either way in a pinch. Uh -huh. I would not eat the apple one not toasted ever again. Yeah. It's just got something funky about it if you don't <laughs> toast it and I don't like it that much. That sour apple pucker, I think, part involved. We had a friend, me and Mark, that was completely addicted to green apple Jolly Ranchers, I'm sure. <laughs> Although he's much more natural living and holistic nowadays, <laughs> I'm sure the old Mark would enjoy those. I think I'm going to go ahead and give the cherry a two-thirds, and I'm going to give the apple a five-eighths. They're okay. Yeah. I'm just too sweet. Yeah. I'm candy for breakfast, I don't think so. Candy for breakfast, it's a wacky equation, so I want folks to weigh in on this one and tell us what the deal is, because we got Fashion Vice going on right now this fine Saturday morning, so I want to know what's up. What do you think? Start by telling us in the comments down below right here on the Snack Society Breakfast Lifestyle channel, or you can go where the whole party started at on the Facebook group. And you can join that group by clicking on the link down below in the description. All the coolest people in the world are in our group, and you should be too. Why aren't you? Also, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at BrandonRecSAS, at the host at Heal with Mahoney, at a brick in the SAS, and when you do. And when you do, you know what you need to do, no matter what time of the day it is. If you're having candy for breakfast, let us know with hashtag breakfast lifestyle when you're celebrating the breakfast lifestyle. And no matter what time of day it is, night, morning, lunch, dinner, no matter when, hashtag snack society all day, every day for all your snacking needs, because we like the candy, whether it's breakfast or midnight or any time in between. When you do that, you join that four horsemen of YouTube, baby. I dressed exactly like Tyler Breeze for my sixth grade graduation. Ooh. Like, comment, share, subscribe. In the meantime, in between time, rise and shine. See you next time. Bye bye, candy.